Social issues often revolve around identity, authenticity, and media representation. Donald Trump's ability to confront hostile media and highlight tangible results can be seen as a testament to his focus on authenticity and personal responsibility. His interactions reflect the complex dynamics of truth and power in a media landscape that often frames him negatively. Mr. President, we so appreciate you giving us an hour of your time. I want to start by addressing the elephant in the room, sir. A lot of people did not think it was appropriate for you to be here today. You have pushed false claims about some of your rivals, from Nikki Haley to former President Barack Obama, saying that they were not born in the United States, which is not true. You have told four congresswomen women of color who were American citizens to go back to where they came from. You have used words like animal and rabbit to describe black district attorneys. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. You've had dinner with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner. The first question, you don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. And I think it's disgraceful that I came here in good spirit. Uh, I love the black population of this country. I've done so much for the black population of this country. Uh, including uh, employment, including uh, opportunity zones with Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina, which is one of the greatest programs ever for uh, black workers and black entrepreneurs. I've done so much. And, you know, and I say this, uh, historically black colleges and universities were out of money. They were stone cold broke. And I saved them and I gave them long term financing and nobody else was doing it. I think it's a very rude introduction. I don't know. Exactly why you would do something like that. Trump's approach to hostile media interactions, especially his defense against allegations of racism, showcases his emphasis on his accomplishments for the black community. By refusing to accept a reporter's biased questions, Trump demonstrates a strong response to media prejudice. His reference to tangible achievements, such as improved employment rates and opportunity zones, serves as evidence of his efforts to support minority communities. Trump's authenticity and personal responsibility are evident in his refusal to accept the media's negative framing. His narrative and commitment to identity resonate with those who see his interactions as a struggle for truth in a media environment that seeks to define him unfairly. The role of journalists and their approach to questioning reflect broader societal struggles with truth, power, and identity. Trump's defensive mechanisms, such as counterattacking aggressive questions, highlight his ability to manage confrontations. His accomplishments for the black community assert a positive identity and respond to negative perceptions. When reporters group controversial issues into a single question, it triggers a defensive response from Trump which can be seen as a tactic to recognize his actions and investigations. Trump's supporters view his responses as a strong and necessary defense against biased media. They appreciate his steadfast stance and ability to counterattack, seeing this polarization as part of a broader social division and an ongoing struggle against media representation and political identity. Trump's interactions and the media's framing of him illustrate the complexities of authenticity, truth, and power in today's political discourse.